Greetings to you once again, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. I greet you in that name that's above every other name at the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee bows, every tongue confesses, because He, the Lord Jesus, He's above it all. And in Him, we live, we move, and we have our being, and we continue on at such a time as this, according to His plan, His purpose, His intention, not our own. You know, I think this letting go of, of self-will, self-planning, all these things that people have and do and think and, and put upon themselves and these false constructs and just letting all that stuff go because the reality of it is not a soul has come into this world that stays in this world. All of us pass through this place and we can spend, if you let the world have its way, you can spend your entire time here distracted. <clears throat> entire time here wrapped up in trivial teas, trivial, trivial things, uh, novelties, pleasures, the worries, the riches and the pleasures of this world which choke it choke that word that's with you and make it unfruitful, yeah, you can easily, easily go that way. But if Christ Jesus gets hold of your attention, and if you have that, um, that if he's, got, if he's got your attention and you're walking this thing out with him, it's going to be a different thing. It's going to be a different journey. It's going to be a different process. And the things of the world grow strangely dim is what the scriptures tell us when when you when you've found life that pearl of great price all the other stuff doesn't really matter that much i mean yeah you're, you're still here you're still in this paradigm in this construct but the other stuff doesn't matter that much because you found what really is important and Solomon spoke about it in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, verse 13 and 14. Now this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear the Lord and keep His commandments, for God will bring every work into judgment, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You know, God is going to bring everything into judgment. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, so fear the Lord and keep His commandments. Fear, fear God and keep His commandments. This is, so, because with Solomon... I, and I think that was also God's design too. Here, I'm going to give, for the sake of humanity, I'm going to give one person full-on access to everything, all the money, all the resource that's possible to go and to try and to buy everything, and at the same time, give him wisdom enough to understand and to process and to write down his experience so that other people can know that. So other people can have that. So other people can can learn from his mistakes, learn from his success, learn from his from what he went through. You know, if you go, one of the theoretically one of the things that should be part of going to college is learning from other people's experiences, so you don't have to go through that same thing. So when people go and do research, if you read their research, you can save yourself two years, three years of trying to answer that same question and find out, here's the answer that they got, so now what's the next set of questions? Or now, how do I implement and use that learning to now benefit the project or the thing that I go through? So now Solomon went straight for the jugular. Solomon went into the depths of what what all the experiences of life can be no hold bar no holds barred and uh, just just opened it up said okay let's try all of it let's try everything let's try wine women and song let's try building massive things um, you know bringing the best of the luxuries that are there and all of it was meaningless, meaningless. It's all a vanity. Chasing after the wind. In fact, when the, the mirth ended, when the laughter subsided, the sorrow would creep in, 
knowing the the frailty of life because everything here has time stamped on it everything here is passing away everything here is an illusion everything here will fail you only that which is eternal has any value and the only thing that is eternal is the one that we serve and if you be found in him you're found in that which is eternal and if you're not found in him then well where are you somewhere else like a branch that's broken off withers and dies and and tossed into the fire to be burned so you know the the process that we go through now here's the beautiful thing about quote unquote coming to Christ or responding to the call is that the remainder of your window in this paradigm you can spend pursuing his purposes and pursuing a relationship with him and pursuing to do the will that the father has for you and it can be an incredible journey <clears throat> because prior to that um, everything that's done apart from Christ gets burned up there's no value in it there's no merit in it there's no there's nothing in that so if so so if you if you fail to to uh, to walk with him then you fail at anything that you've done having any lasting significance having any real reason and sure the the people that that really get traumatized by that reality and that fact they try to do things to create legacy for themselves to try to create some sort of something so a grant in their name a scholarship in their name a um, a, a performing arts center in their name you know whatever it is so that they're not forgotten but in the end they are forgotten in the end you know it's funny I, I spent time in Sri Lanka in the end I mean there's roads that are named after people that when the next political party comes in they change the name of the roads really confusing for traffic by the way but um, yeah because it's because this everything here in this life and in this world does not last the only thing that lasts is the things that are rooted and grounded in truth in reality built on the rock the foundation who is Christ Jesus that's what lasts that's what's true that's what will continue on after all of this is done and you know what those things are well one is your relationship with Christ and also your relationship with your brothers and sisters in Christ because those things go on so the only thing that lasts is that which is built on Christ Jesus that which is founded in him we have to be engrafted into the vine who is Christ and you know this is where God works with our free will so God works with our free will and he you know he didn't make robots he didn't make while the world is trying to turn everybody into a robot to get people to be programmed to do whatever they want and uh, make an autonomous response God wanted the beauty of our free will and the beauty of our choice and the bit you know God lets people choose you just can't choose the consequences you know I, I you got to remember that God lets people choose you just can't choose the consequences that's why he says choose ye this day whom you will serve when you choose him you're choosing life you're choosing that reality you're choosing that which is real and that which will bless you when you choose apart from him when you choose to go the way of the world when you choose everything that is that the world has to offer but not under the direction and the leading and the guiding of the Holy Spirit the result is sorrow is vanity is 
uh, consequences that are not consequences you want. You know, sometimes, yes, sometimes bad things happen to good people, okay? But, by and large, you reap what you sow. By and large, if you put good into the ground, good will come back to you. By and large, that's kind of the way that it works. And also, if you reap evil, or if you sow evil, the likelihood is you're going to reap evil. Now, sometimes these guys are able to get away with things for a while, but it comes back to you. And the terror that is awaiting those that have been outside of Christ when everything does catch up to them, because time is brutal. Um, You know, the transition out of this life is brutal. And those that have been found outside of Christ, they've got a horrible reality waiting for them. That's why they're so afraid to die. Listen, for the follower of Christ, the true follower of Christ, he will bring you to an end of yourself as part of his process. And, you know, death is not that big of a deal as far as the natural death of the physical body. Because it's just a transition. It's just taking off your earth suit. Because your spirit is alive. Your soul is is living. And so if you take off your earth suit so that you can go on to the next thing, it's the same as just taking off any suit. You just transition. But you need it to be here. Just like if you were on the moon, you would need a moon suit. You couldn't be on the moon and not have something that allowed you to be in that context. To be here in this life where light and dark coexist, where this this expression of free will, the challenge that, that is here, in this life you'll have trouble, but take heart for I've overcome the world. To be here in this, you've got to have your earth suit on. So we have our earth suit on and we feel all of the things that are part of this human experience. Now, you know, there's a lot of sorrow that's caused by <clears throat> being here, but also a question, if this whole thing is a dream, well, is that sorrow even real? Yeah, you feel it right now. I mean, I've, I've had very real dreams. Um, but then when you wake up, okay, well, what was that? So, when we go through all that we go through here, in the end... When God says that he'll wipe away every tear, well, you know, I mean, what does that, how does that work? Is it, is he, is he there with, you know, with a, with a hanky wiping away your tears? You know what? No, man. Okay. It goes so much deeper than that and it's going to go so much further than that. But all that we face and all that we go through here it's going to be all right. All right? Now, since you're here and we're in the middle of this, let's get on his page. Since we're here and we are uh, engaged in the things of God, let's be in step with his Holy Spirit for the purpose of accomplishing what he intends Jesus was sent here and he had work to do. Uh, he, he had finished his work. We have work to do. We need to finish that work. I, the, the desire would be to be able to hear, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter now into your Father's rest. You want that. You know, you want to not be about your own business, but to be about your Father's business. So, That's where we're coming from. That's what's on our minds. That's what's on our hearts. And yes, it's not an easy time, but God is with his people. And if you trust him, if you let him lead and guide you, he's going to carry you through. And he's going to show you solutions and ways forward that you would never imagine in and of yourself. And there's peace and there's fulfillment. 
There's fulfillment. See, that's one thing too that the world will never have. The world may have moments and glimpses of happiness and things like that, but they'll never have fulfillment because fulfillment is a blessing of the living God that comes from being in step with your purpose and your reason for being in the first place, which you can't have unless you're connected to the one that made you in the first place. So, as we continue and as we go forward, don't allow for the external circumstances to, um, to, to cripple you and to paralyze you. Instead, keep your eyes on Christ and He will give you a way through um, in all of this. Uh, I, I would encourage some of you guys to go and listen to um, that last audio as well. Uh, Detachment and Compartmentalization, that's the title. Because I think some of you that might not have heard that one yet, that's going to be helpful for you. But we need to continue to, um, to go forward in what God has for us. He's giving the tools, the knowledge, the understanding, the empowering, the equipping for His people to carry out His purposes, to do what He has for them to do. But you got to take Him at His word and go forward in the truth. All right, we love you guys. God bless you. Uh, drop us an email, faithmix at gmail.com. I always love to hear from you. God bless you. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.